Let us today look at Romans chapter 6 to look at how God sees you before him if you have put your faith in Jesus Christ. Let me read it to you from Romans 6. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? Because we've been put under grace, do we therefore go and sin a lot? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live in a new life. What a statement. He says that a believer in Christ has been baptized into Christ so that God says of us, you have died, past tense, to sin, and that you are now alive in Christ. Now he uses a phrase, you were baptized. Is this accomplished by water baptism? I don't think so. There's a baptism called the baptism of the Spirit, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 13 for by one spirit were we all baptized or immersed into one body at the time of the new birth God immerses us into his son and he says three things about it I so identify you with Jesus Christ that his death has become your death and his burial has become your burial and his resurrection is your resurrection. God sees you and I as brothers and sisters in Christ, as people who died to sin and been raised from the dead. And he's going to tell us the Christian life is lived out of this reality. I have no obligations to sin any longer. I've been set free. I've died with my substitute, with my representative, Christ represented me on the cross and when he was buried i was there with him the old negro spiritual used to go were you there when they crucified my lord guess what you can say yes i was i was there in christ were you there when they nailed him to the cross yes i was i was also there when he was raised from the dead i was represented in him before god you have died to sin and you've been raised in order that you may live a new kind of life. We're no longer dead men. According to Ephesians, when God found us, we were dead in our sin and God had to resurrect us. And when he saved us, he put us in Christ. And my new identity is I'm in Christ. That's the key phrase, in Christ. 115 times in the New Testament, you are said to be seen in Christ, in Jesus, in the Lord, at least that many times. So who are you? I'm not in Adam. I'm in Christ. My new identity is I died with my Savior. I've been buried. I've been raised with him. Now walk in newness of life. Walk as though that were true of you, because it absolutely is. We'll look and see how we're to respond to these great truths in our next lesson.